Major components of the organic crop production standards include the land must have had three years without any prohibited substances applied before anything can be harvested from the land and sold or represented as organic. The standard states that the farm must have distinct defined boundaries or buffer zones to prevent unattended application or contact with prohibited substances. A buffer zone can include a hedgerow, a tree line, or even a row of crops managed organically but sold in the conventional market. The standards do not specify a minimum buffer size. Instead, it is site-specific and determined by the risk associated with the adjoining land and or policies implemented by the certification agency. Farming practices must maintain or build soil organic matter and health and guard against erosion. Sound fertility management can be achieved through practices such as cover crops, compost, manure, and utilization of crop rotations. Raw manure must be applied and incorporated 120 days prior to the harvest of the crops whose edible portion contact the ground and 90 days prior to harvest for crops that don't. Always ask your certifier to find out which crops fall into which category. A farmer must have practices in place that mitigate the risk of negatively affecting water quality and polluting water sources or contaminating crops and soil. Compost containing manure should be fully composted according to the National Organic Program rules. You must use organic seed and planting stock when it's available. And you must document that you look through multiple sources for organic seed. However, organic seeds for edible sprouts is always required. The use of seed treated with prohibited substances is not allowed, unless when it is required for federal or state phytosanitary regulations. Organic seedlings not produced on farm must be certified organic unless a temporary variance is granted. Non-organic planting stock can only be used if organic is unavailable. Non-organic perennial planting stock can only be sold as organic after one year of organic management. Practices in place for disease and pest prevention can include crop rotation, increasing farm diversity, cultural practices, and mechanical control. Practices for weed control include tillage, flame weeding, mulching, and grazing. The use of allowed substances is only permitted when preventative measures don't work. The producer must not use treated lumber with prohibited materials for new installations or replacement purposes in contact with the soil. Crops must not be produced with ionizing radiation, sewage sludge, or excluded methods such as genetic modification. In general, non-synthetic substances are allowed unless they are explicitly prohibited, and synthetic substances are prohibited unless they are allowed and listed on the national list. However, all inputs must be verified for compliance by the certifier prior to use. If a fertilizer says it's organic, it doesn't mean it is approved for use in organic production. Fertilizers are not eligible for organic certification. That's because the word organic on fertilizer labels means that the source of nitrogen is carbon-based. That's why it's important to call a certifier prior to and while you are certified to find out if the materials you want to use comply with the standards.